Today, we are going to talk about a very exciting Mystica update. ProRes is officially supported by Mystica using Apple License Official ProRes Codec. This update can potentially speed up the rendering speed in 26 frames per second or more, even on an Apple MacBook Pro. I'm currently making a travel VR docu-series just got back from UK and I'm going to Tokyo tomorrow. With a fast turnaround time, I need to do rough stitch with my MacBook Pro on set or on the same night. This update is significantly improved my mobile workflow without traveling with a heavy desktop computer. I can also use eGPU and external graphic card solution by the latest Apple OS system to do fine stitch on a MacBook Pro. It's crazy, let me tell you more. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Korea. Oh. Mexican VR latest update bring official ProRes encoder and codex onto both Mac and PC. With a powerful CPU, you can have potentially 26 frames per second render speed. Nothing need to change in your workflow, but now ProRes is a preferred than DPX for the smaller file size, lower compression rate, and cross-platform compatibility. So let's get more technical here. To find out what is the bottleneck of your entire rendering pipeline, I always try to tell you more information so you can be smart and professional in this topic. Sometimes this knowledge can be make or break of getting that DIT or stitching job. So Mystica VR is a pipeline. It means it is as fast as the slowest part. There are three parts in the pipeline. Media decoding, which use your CPU. The speed of media decoding depends on your CPU speed and your hard drive read speed. Most of you probably already work off a SSD or RAID 0 Thunderbolt 3 drive. So you should be having a minimum 600 megabit per second read on and write speed. If you have no idea what I'm just talking about, the next tutorial of building a post pipeline will teach you everything. So don't worry, just make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Part two of the pipeline is stitching. Usually with optical flow, this is a GPU render. Part three of the pipeline is encoding for the final video. That against you CPU. The speed really depends on how fast is your encoder, your CPU, and your hard drive write speed. Unless you use Mystica NVIDIA encoder, which actually use GPU render, but it need a NVIDIA graphic card, which is not commonly available for Mac user. Mac use AMD graphic card. And nine out of 10 scenario, your bottleneck is in the encoding with CPU. Before, Mystica used FFmpeg as an encoder, which is not an official Apple ProRes codex. It is very slow and sometimes cause a lot of issue. FFmpeg is open source and it's free. I believe install 260 Pro Stitcher and Kendall Stitcher both can render ProRes is using that. It makes sense to them because it's free and open source, but it's bad for creators like us. I would highly recommend don't render ProRes with them if you are not using Mystica. Mystica VR, on the other hand, integrate the official ProRes codec, and it can be super fast and be also at the same time very reliable for post-processing, coloring, and all the fancy stuff you, de you do in post. If you ever do any Mocha VR tracking, you know that different in the speed compared to the H.264 format. If you are professional and produce professional VR contents, do yourself a favor. Use ProRes as intermediate codec. It saves you time and money. It is also industry standard as Premiere, Final Cut Pro X, or DaVinci Resource or Love ProRes. So what is the stitching workflow now? Well, nothing changed. 
Your step one is still rough stitch without optical flow. So you are not relying on GPU. And you can literally rough stitch on set and show your client immediately with MacBook Pro or any laptop with a decent CPU. The rough stitch codex is ProRes Proxy. Again, it's a ProRes Proxy, not ProRes 422. And you try to make it as small as possible. Refer to my proxy workflow right here for the spec. You are generating proxy from Mexico VR directly, by the way. No need to go into Media Encoder or Premiere to generate proxy. So to save you already a lot of time. Then save your Mexico project file for later on Fine Stitch. When it comes to Fine Stitch, open the same Mexico project file, get the time code of your log edit, stitch a render ProRes HQ for final mastering. And don't worry, Fine Stitch workflow, online and offline edit workflow for 360VR is coming next. So hit the notification bell to stay up to date. There are also other updates from Mexica, like the direct integration with the GoPro color, Giga, for stitching. So you don't need to use Auto Panel Video Pro anymore. Also, improve workflow on the Insta360 Pro 2. My next video tutorial will be an update latest workflow on stitching Insta360 Pro 2 with Mexica to fix that annoying parallax, the vertical parallax issue you see in a lot of stereoscopic st stitching in the Pro 2 footage. I am traveling to the end of March for Special Olympics World Game, and I will release my behind the scenes videos so to teach you everything I know on set on a real client job with hands-on example. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. We are Creator Level Up on Korea.